When Hela shattered Mjolnir into a million pieces, she also crushed something else, our hearts. After all the times we got to see Thor smash enemies in the face with his magic hammer, we'd grown attached to the little guy. But our hearts started to mend when we saw Thor's new weapon, the mighty Stormbreaker Axe. It was a serious upgrade. But eagle-eyed fans noticed that instead of lightning, Stormbreaker uses blue fire. Why is that? This video is all about the epic Stormbreaker and how it works, so let's get into it right now. Sure, we all love Jane Foster, but we know that one true pairing of the Thor franchise is Thor and Mjolnir. It's exactly like a romance movie. These two had a classic will-they-won't-they -they relationship that started with Mjolnir rejecting Thor until the God of Thunder grew up and became a better person. After that, they reunited in a big romantic moment where Thor lifted Mjolnir and started using it to smash the bad guys into puddles of goo. Then the two were inseparable for a long time until tragedy struck. It brings a tear to our eye just thinking about it. But Mjolnir didn't survive a meeting with a certain Thor family member, so Thor had to move on and find true love a second time. And by true love, we mean find a weapon that would successfully pulverize his enemies into ground beef, and thus, Stormbreaker exploded onto the scene. But before we start drooling over Stormbreaker, it's important to take a minute and highlight Mjolnir. The hammer was made on Nidavellir, created by dwarven blacksmiths with the Asgardian metal Uru. It was made from this, this special metal from the heart of the dying star. Now, Uru isn't your average earthbound metal, no, no. You won't see a lot of things here made out of that specific metal, so don't go asking your local blacksmith for any specialty items. Chances are they won't have them. But Uru has so many other properties besides just being incredibly strong. It also retains enchantments and magic really well. So if you look at all the amazing things that Mjolnir can do, like give Thor the power of flight, summon the Bifrost, fit perfectly on a coat rack, and act as a conduit for Thor's lightning powers, just know that magic courses through the mighty weapon's DNA. But all good things must come to an end. Even though Thor and Mjolnir went together like peanut butter and jelly, the MCU decided to be incredibly mean to Thor by having him lose absolutely everything important in his life in just a short amount of time, meaning Mjolnir was destroyed by his gothy sister Hela. This left Thor in a tricky position. He was without a weapon, but there was a giant purple monster threatening to destroy half the universe, so Thor needed a proper replacement. So he traveled to Nidavellir to procure something totally awesome. Sure, it wasn't easy, and it cost Groot his arm and almost Thor's life, but Thor walked away with the powerful new weapon Stormbreaker. Although it's much bigger than Mjolnir and its handle is made from Groot's arm, it still has a lot of similar properties to Mjolnir. Just like the hammer, Thor's new axe can give him flight summon the Bifrost, and be a conduit for Thor's powers. We don't know yet if it can fit onto a coat rack, though. That will have to be answered in Thor 4. Someone tell Taika Waititi to include something like that, please. But there's one subtle difference between Mjolnir and Stormbreaker that isn't readily apparent until you look closer at the two super weapons. You'll see that Stormbreaker is coated with blue fire instead of lightning. So why is that exactly? Well, actually, there's a pretty interesting reason behind it. Before you bust out all your old Thor comics and start digging through them for information about Stormbreaker, you should know that the blue fire radiating out of the Mighty Axe doesn't actually have any comic book background. In fact, in the comics, the weapon wasn't even made for Thor in the first place. It was constructed for another hero who Marvel fans know well as Beta Ray Bill. Now, Beta Ray Bill is on many MCU fan lists of awesome characters who haven't been seen on the big screen yet. And by now, it's only a matter of time before the Corbinite makes an appearance. In the comics, he was introduced as the first character outside of the all-familiar Norse characters to be worthy of wielding Mjolnir. Yes, that's kind of a big deal, so move aside Captain America and Vision. This led to an interesting rivalry between Thor and Beta Ray Bill as they fought for the true possession of the hammer. And to probably stop those two crazy kids from bickering and fighting, the powers that be granted Beta Ray Bill his own weapon, which turned out to be Stormbreaker. But the comic version of Stormbreaker is a little different. Instead of fire, it utilizes lightning just like Mjolnir, which makes a lot of sense. So it's clear that the MCU really wanted to do something different when it came to bringing Stormbreaker to life in Avengers Infinity War. Sure, they could have made it crackle with the same electricity that Mjolnir had, but when they really needed to emphasize that this was the weapon to end all weapons. To officially be the Thanos Destroyer, it needed to pack some serious heat. Blue heat. And let's just set the scene a little bit. Flashback to 2018 and we're watching all our favorite Avengers make a final stand at Wakanda, digging their heels in against the terrifying Outriders. Sure, they let out a few quips here and there, but it's clear this battle is going south fast. Captain America and Black Panther are getting the snot kicked out of them by the evil creatures, War Machine is knocked out of the sky by Thanos' Black Order, and Bruce Banner is about to become the Outriders' next meal as they rip through the Hulkbuster armor. Suddenly, the Immigrant Song starts playing. <laughs> okay, okay, the Immigrant Song only played during Thor Ragnarok. 
but now we can't stop hearing it in our heads whenever Thor makes an epic entrance. Anyways, Thor is suddenly transported to the battlefield alongside Rocket and Groot. Everyone cheers, and Thor's presence immediately turns the tide of the battle after decimating a huge chunk of the advancing Outriders. We wish we could hear what the other Avengers were thinking when Thor suddenly appeared with a talking raccoon and a small tree creature. This was the weapon that Thor spent the entire movie making, so it had to have a huge impact, and it certainly succeeded. We're used to lightning from Thor, so seeing him shoot sparks at his enemies wasn't a huge surprise, but it was the blue fire coating Stormbreaker that really stood out. It immediately set it apart from Mjolnir, and we believe that, yes, this is the weapon that could finally defeat the Mad Titan once and for all and save the universe. Enjoying this video? Well, if you haven't already, subscribe to CBR, and don't forget to turn on notifications to help us defeat that pesky YouTube algorithm. And if you're on mobile, make sure you turn on notifications in the YouTube settings. <laughs> now back to the video. So Stormbreaker turned out to be a game changer of a weapon. It was strong enough to incapacitate Thanos in 2018, and it would have ended him. It's not the weapon's fault there was a user error. If Thor had just gone for the head, his shiny new blue fire spitting weapon would have stopped the Mad Titan once and for all. And even though Thanos survived his first encounter with Stormbreaker, he wasn't so lucky the second time, with Thor coming in and chopping off the villain's head. Did you see how easily that axe sliced through the nearly invincible Thanos? It was like a knife cutting through butter. We think every hero should be equipped with a Stormbreaker axe. It would make fighting villains all the much easier. But back to this question about why Stormbreaker is emitting blue fire instead of lightning. Well, we have to go back to Odin and his enchantment that he put on Mjolnir. The words he put on it were that the wielder of the hammer would possess the power of Thor, which explains why it has constantly made the crackle of lightning coming out of it at all times. And where Mjolnir requires worthiness, it's been stated that Stormbreaker does not. Since it doesn't have the same stipulations that Mjolnir has, the Mighty Axe has its own type of energy and magic to it, which is a big reason why it doesn't only shoot electricity. Thor learned a valuable lesson in Thor Ragnarok when he learned that he could channel the lightning through himself and not just the hammer. Wow, I didn't hear any thunder, but out of your fingers, was that like sparkles? With that knowledge, he was able to overcome Hela, but it also helps now that he wields Stormbreaker. Think about it. This means that Thor can use his lightning with any weapon that he wields. It's like Stormbreaker has double the amount of powers, and Thor can use it to channel lightning if he wants to, but it also has its own separate power source and abilities, including its blue flame. That's pretty darn cool. Or should we say, that's pretty hot? You know, because of the flames? <laughs> Get it? Yeah, baby! <laughs> okay, moving on. Although the quest to get Stormbreaker took up most of Thor's time in Avengers Infinity War, the axe didn't get as much screen time in Endgame, which was understandable. As Infinity War framed Thor as a hero driven and desperate for revenge, Endgame painted Thor as a man broken and depressed. He traded in Stormbreaker for gallons upon gallons of beer and snacks. Even when Stormbreaker was being used for things like removing purple heads from their respective bodies, it was mostly shrouded in shadows and darkness, so all the awesome blue flames remained mostly hidden. After all the build-up for Stormbreaker in Infinity War, it's perhaps a little surprising that Mjolnir got a majority of the screen time. But we're not complaining that much, as the emphasis on the hammer led to the franchise's most cheer-worthy moment, with Captain America proving to be worthy enough to wield Mjolnir. But for all the fans who are curious about what Thor's weapon choice is going forward, we have a feeling Stormbreaker is going to have a bright future. We know that Captain America decided to peace out at the end of Endgame, to both reunite with his true love and to return all the misplaced items the Avengers picked up during their time escapades. One of the things he was returning was Thor's hammer, but we all know that the upcoming Thor Love and Thunder will center around Jane Foster returning and becoming the Mighty Thor. For that scenario, Mjolnir will need to return in some way, and Jane will be the one who needs to wield it. Although it might be hard for Thor to move on from his beloved hammer, it means that Stormbreaker will most likely become his weapon of choice going forward, and honestly, we're not complaining. Picture this. Thor and Jane stand next to each other ready for battle. Thor clenches Stormbreaker and Jane starts wielding Mjolnir, ready to smash some fools into dust. Lightning and blue flames crackle and radiate from their respective weapons. Together, the two of them charge their enemies and prove they're the most powerful villain fighting couple the universe has ever seen. Tony Stark teamed up with Pepper Potts in Endgame as they both fought in Iron Man suits. Captain America and Peggy Carter successfully saved the world together in Captain America the First Avenger. And now Thor and Jane Foster will unite to save the universe in Thor Love and Thunder. How awesome is that? We still don't know a whole lot about Thor 4, but we're still holding out hope it will involve a few scenes with the Guardians of the Galaxy, some cool Jane Foster moments, and above all else, more emphasis on the spectacular Stormbreaker and its amazing abilities. A weapon of that magnitude? She deserves it. We can't wait to see more of Stormbreaker in the new Thor movie. What do you guys think? Do you like Mjolnir or Stormbreaker more? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more awesome MCU videos. Thanks for watching.